feel free to ask there, introduce yourself, say hi, let us know that you're here and who invited you in that chat. Please blow it up. We love, we love seeing all of you guys over there. So we have a killer lineup tonight of ladies who are going to just share a little piece of their story. And I hope that you guys can connect with them. And I want um, to play your game, mom. Please let us know. Um, but I am going to pass it off to my girl, Brie, and she's going to tell you guys her story. Yay. Okay. I have a habit of um, muting myself. So if I mute myself, you guys make sure to be like, come on. So my name is Brie Fisher. I've been with Zaya a little over a year now. Um, I am a senior director. So my story is one of... <laughs> Like, okay, I was a stay-at-home mama. Do we have any other stay-at-home moms in the bunch? Raise your hand. Um, I know that I just heard a little kid on the on the call, so I love it. So where I came from was a spot of like, oh my gosh, I just had my second baby. I was wondering who the heck I am. I'm stepping into this new mom role and trying to figure out you know, like my body is changing and I'm nursing and I'm not losing the weight that I, they tell you that you're supposed to lose when you breastfeed. If anyone else is with me, it doesn't happen sometimes if you're lucky, but um, I was keeping up with a toddler. I gave birth, my, we're military and my husband was deployed. And so ladies, I was doing it by myself and it was really hard and getting back into the gym and getting back into the routine of, okay, I want to be healthier, but oh my gosh, I have no energy, right? Like I have no energy. I have these kids sucking the life out of me. This is the most beautiful thing. I wanted it so bad, but it's hard. It's so hard. And I really lost myself. I really lost who I was. And um, when I joined Zaya, I really joined out of desperation thinking, okay, I'm going to give this three months and hopefully it works. I never was in direct sales at all. And I was like, you know what? Well, this could kickstart me back into getting into my fitness goals. And that's exactly what it did. Um, and it surpassed it tremendously. So when I joined Zaya, now I'm down 25 pounds. I have a whole new wardrobe that I never thought that I would ever be able to afford because we have one income. We're on one income, right? But let me tell you, having all of these clothes and getting paid to wear them makes me feel so amazing. And not only that, but my husband is rooting me on. And he, of course, you know, let's not lie, husband smack your booty. I don't mind that, right? Mom is losing weight. I am starting to make an income and my relationship is growing better with my husband because I am in a better place. So Zaya for me really helped rescue me out of this depression of postpartum and really wondering who I was in motherhood to now I can work from home. I can work with my kids and I have something that drives me and that I'm so stinking passionate about. So my team now, which I never thought I would ever have a team is now I think 55 ladies and they are freaking ballers. So that's another thing, especially in the midst of this crazy COVIDness, we have women that we can come together with, that we can uplift each other, that we can come in a great mindset and we can be healthy mind, body, and soul. So that is what I really wanted to share with you guys. If you have hesitation, if you are needing something to kickstart you back into where you want to be physically and mentally and something that drives you outside of motherhood, give it a shot. Trust yourself, believe in yourself enough to give it a shot. So I am handing off to Miss Amanda. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, Bree. Uh, like she said, I am Amanda Olson. I started with Zaya a couple of years ago, almost here in like April, I think. Um, I'm a mom of three. I have a four-year-old, two-year-old, and one-year-old. So time is something that um, doesn't come super easily to me. Um, I joined Zaya with my best friend, um, Sid, who we normally sit by side by side and do this call, but she's under the weather um, tonight. But um, we live, both of us live out in the middle of nowhere. Like literally my closest town is 40 miles. I drive 40 miles to the grocery store. I drive 40 miles to anything practically. Um, so we hear a lot of people saying that we are afraid that the Zaya market is saturated. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about that 
Um, if Sid, her name's Sid, if I didn't mention that before, if Sid and I can do this from our homes, because we both, you know, live in the middle of nowhere, BFE, if you guys know what that is, um, if we can be, have successful businesses together and we literally live 40 miles apart um, in a town of 350 people and um, we don't have gyms to go to where there's hundreds of people no on a normal basis going to um to visit with about leggings or jack or like sports rods or whatever like we don't have that we don't have a daycare where i go drop off my kids where there's you know 50 or 30 kids and they all have different moms to talk to like we don't have that so if you're nervous about not having people to talk to um or just running into the same crowd constantly um zaya has set up a fantastic party group and i'm sure some of you have either hosted a party or been a part of a party and if you haven't and you're here you guys are badasses because that's a pretty gutsy move and it's a fantastic move um but the party system that we have where you can um invite one person and they invite however many friends they have and then you ask their friends to ask other friends and it's just this huge ball of people that you get to um meet social media wise and then hopefully create these um, relationships that you can grow and grow and grow. Half of the people that I have on my team, I have never even seen in person. Um, half the people that I have hosted parties for, not a clue who they are. If Sid and I were to host a party for every single person in our hometown of Buffalo, like we wouldn't, that wouldn't happen. So you have to realize that there's so many ways to expand outside of your tiny little circle. Even though if you think you have a big circle, there's a way bigger one out there. Um, I know we all scroll social media constantly. Anybody that's in leggings, I look for that little moon. I'm like, is there a moon there? And if there's not, perfect. I'm going to follow them on Instagram. I'm going to create a relationship and see who I can hopefully, you know, get to try a pair of leggings or join my team. If you go to Walmart, how many people are not wearing our really nice Zaya leggings? Like the, the market is not tapped out. And I would just want you guys to realize that. So if that's something that's holding you back, please bless and release that factor and just say yes to this opportunity. So that's what I have to say. And now we get to hear from Miss Jamie. Hey guys. Okay. So my name is Jamie Fearing. I live in Wisconsin. I grew up a South Dakota girl um, and fell in love with a Wisconsin boy. So here I am in the frozen tundra and I was a hairstylist for 21 years and I just closed my doors at the end of 2020. So I can tell you, um, I would have not been able to do that had it not been for Zaya. So I started with Zaya about a year and a half ago. Does it mean? Jamie, unmute yourself. Okay. There you go. Okay, there we go. So um, I had some health issues come up with um, arthritis and different things. And I knew that I was not going to be able to do hair forever. I had a daughter leaving for college this fall and I was, I was panicky. Like, how are we going to be able to afford me to quit my job? Because I know I can't keep doing this. So um, we all know we all got quarantined during COVID and when a hairstylist doesn't work, she doesn't get paid. So I think COVID was actually like a blessing to our family because what it gave us was this gift of time. And it made us realize that we could, you know, do this without my income. And, and then what happened was during COVID, Zaya had like, like exponential growth. And our, our little chart, if you followed our chart, it was just like on this nice steady climb. And then it went, and we ran out of inventory and it was like the greatest thing ever because everybody wants to because they're so amazing so anyway um even though 2020 had a lot of heartache in it it had a lot of celebrations and i am one of those people that got to celebrate because i get to have I get to have complete time freedom and freedom in my schedule and just financial blessings and things like that. So anyway, um, that is my story and I'm going to hand it off to my girl Lace and thanks for listening. All right. I think I am unmuted and good to go. 
Um, so I'm super nervous and a little sweaty, but um, that's okay. So my name is Lacey. I am also from Wisconsin and I am a super busy person. If you know me, you know I'm busy. And a lot of people ask me all the time how I do everything. Um, just to give you a little background, I've been with Zaya since December of 2019. I, when I joined Zaya, I did not own a single piece. I actually was introduced to Zaya by Jamie. And I, at that time, was coaching CrossFit and doing personal training and also working in a hair salon. So lots of jobs. And then I'm also a busy mom to two daughters, twin girls that are eight years old. So if anyone has twins, you know that that is crazy. Um, and girls on top of it, they are high maintenance and they just are so sassy. And then, yeah, like Jamie said, um, when we got shut down, I was also doing the homeschooling thing with my girls. So lots of things going on in my life, but I was like, you know what? Why not add right, I got it. You can one more that. thing to my plate? Um, so I joined Zaya and since joining Zaya, I have been able to, um, I don't do personal training anymore and I cut back hours at the gym and I also cut back hours at the salon, which wasn't my intention by any means, but it's been really awesome to stay home with my kids and just be more intentional with my time. And, um, you know, it's been really awesome because Zaya, it's not a certain time schedule. You don't have to clock in and you don't have to work eight hours a day. It's just kind of at your own time and your own pace, which is really great. So if you're someone like me who is, you know, every minute of your day counts, you make those minutes count, right? Everyone is busy and I'm not trying to discredit anyone's kind of busy, but I feel like busy people tend to do better in businesses like this because you are more focused and you really have that drive and ambition. So, you know, Zaya has been this really awesome thing in my life and it's been kind of this saving grace that I didn't know that I really needed. Like I said, I didn't own a single piece of Zaya when I joined, but it's changed my life. It's brought so much joy into my life and my family and it's allowed me to actually be less busy in other ways and more busy in more rewarding ways I guess if that makes sense so um yeah so if you are someone who is busy and you're like I don't have time to fit another thing into my life I'm just gonna tell you that you totally do because this team is amazing. The support system is awesome. We have all these systems and training set in place to make you work this into your life. So with that, I am going to pass it off to Shelly. Hello, hello. Um, my name is Shelly Smith hello. and I am from the super duper small town of Dillard, Nebraska. It's like 250 people. So when I say small, it's like four by four blocks long. It's not very big. And there's like six reps in my town. All right. So when you say your market is saturated, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but I have a bit of a different story and I'm going to maybe like tug on your heartstrings just a tiny bit here, but I think it's good. Um, I actually joined Zaya about a year and a half ago. And I had purchased some leggings and a bomber bra from a friend's party in before I even got it, I just, I knew I needed to be a part of this business. And so my upline, Erica, she reached out to me and she just said, Hey, thank you for your order. How did you hear about Zaya? Have you ever tried it before? And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. How do I sign up? Um, she didn't really even talk to me about a whole lot of it. And I was just in, I asked a bunch of questions. And then later that day I was all in. Um, I thought it was awesome that I could get some free leggings, half off leggings, get some stuff for cheap. I was three months postpartum. I was getting back in the gym right across the street from my house. There's a gym and I thought it would be perfect. So there I was, I signed up. I started building a team, um, 
two months later, I hit director, which is like the third rank, one, two, three, it's the third rank. Um, and then it took me a little bit. I kind of, I got my groove a little bit. I kind of started coasting. And then by the beginning of 2020, um, I started to see a lot of success in the business. And I was like, dang, this, this can be like my ticket. Like, this is awesome. Right. And so I said, let's really just run with it. Let's build a team. And so that's what I did. And by April, I hit executive with the company, which is a higher level rank. And I thought that was awesome. And here I go. I'm really killing it. Right. Um, then in May, I had some really, really strange health issues going on. And I wasn't really sure what was happening with me. I, my eyesight was going bad. I had a lot of numbness throughout my body. I couldn't feel my right side of my abdomen and my armpit. I was having lots of problems. So long story short, through lots of um, doctor's appointments, about four MRIs, um, numerous visits to the eye doctor, the ophthalmologist, all sorts of things. Um, ultimately, at the end of the year or the end of the summer in September, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And you know what, ladies, this company and this business, these women, I would not have probably made it through a lot of that sane without these ladies here in this business. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I would not have been able to do this without them. Um, these women from Florida to Washington, I call my very best friends. And I absolutely love that I have them to share, um, to confide in, to tell them when I'm having a good day and when I'm having a bad day. And if I didn't have them, I live in a town of 250 people. I mean, a lot of people know my business, right? It's, it's just inevitable in a small town, but not like this. It's not the same. Um, it's a community unlike anything that I can describe, and you you really feel a sense of warmth and comfort and unity and uplifting and all of the things. Um, so Zaya, for me, it went from being a an outlet to get some free leggings <laughs> to something that I can call home and something that can help me pay my medical bills and something that I can just use as an escape to get away from real life. Um, so if you have any battles, no matter what they are, big or small, um, they're big to you, they're small to others, right? But no matter what they are, like if you need a community, this is the way to go. And I would not have it any other way. So I am gonna leave it at that. And I am going to go ahead and pass it off to my girl, Amy. Thank you so much, Shelly. Oh my gosh, I always just get all of the feels when I listen to you all. Oh, um, so anyway, you guys, real quick, um, my name's Amy Peters. Um, I've been with Zaya for a little over two years, and I got to tell you, um, this is my third January with Zaya, and for me, January and February, and those that know me, like all the reps on the call are like, here's Amy again, talking about January and February, because I just get so excited at this time of the year in this business. I, and I can't fully explain it. I can't fully put it into words, but there's just a different energy. I think part of it also is like new year, right? We have new goals. Um, and not only let's maybe starting a new side hustle, but also like maybe fitness. Boy, a lot of us are new fitness. Anybody else like, all right, time to get rid of the COVID-10 because, you know, that's me. Um, but that's also a huge part of my customer base too. And that's just been such a fun part of being a part of this business is um, not only this amazing, incredible community, but the customer base and the friendships that you get from that. Um, I can't tell you enough. Um, I've heard... I've heard this before and it just speaks so truly to me like this business is so much more than leggings. When you as a rep get that very first message from your customer that says, you have no idea how confident this product makes me feel. Like that alone melts my heart in 5 million different pieces that just that thing of, okay, I'm doing the right thing. Like this is where I'm meant to be. And so, I really feel like I really wanted to share that with you all first. Um, secondly, so on top of that, just being in this time of the year, that's my all time favorite. Why Zaya and why now? Um, well, first and foremost, studies statistically are showing right now that 
the best time to get into a direct sales business is within the first five years of the company. Guess what? We're not even in year four yet. So that's super awesome. We have still so much growth that's going to happen in this company. And honestly, guys, we're, we're seeing the growth and it's awesome. And people are loving our stuff. We have to kick up our inventory every single month because stuff just keeps selling out. And that's so awesome. Um, not only that, I saw um, <laughs> on Good Morning America a couple of months ago, because, you know, just watching some TV here and there, that they were doing this random study and they were predicting that the athleisure wear in general is going to be an estimate of $257 billion industry by 2026, which I was like, oh, <laughs> so glad I'm in it. <laughs> oh man. So I just wanted to let you guys all know that like, I, why is IOI now? It's now is the best time to do this. And if you join this call, you join this call for a reason, you're curious. And what I always tell my ladies is if you're a little bit nervous, but pretty excited, it's time. It's time to make that jump. So let's do it. So with that being said, reach out to that rep that invited you here tonight and tell them you're ready to click that join button because we're ready to make new friends with y'all tonight. Um, first and for, or lastly, not first and foremost, because I'm done. <laughs> lastly, we just really want to thank each of you for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know Erica mentioned that in the, in the beginning, but we don't take that lightly in the slightest. Um, we really do appreciate um, each and every one of you. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful night, and I hope to see some more new faces adding to this beautiful team. Good night, everyone. Thanks, ladies.